What's going on there guys? Good afternoon. The Earthmaster here with an update video on this uh, January 2nd, 2022 date, about 12.20 p.m. California time and the latest quake, a 2.5 earthquake into the Southern California region. Also notice up here towards the northern end of the Cascadia getting in and on some activity as well with a 4.4 earthquake striking uh, just a short time ago. Let's go ahead and check out uh, some movement out here on the latest map from the USGS. You can see that 4.4 uh, earthquake striking uh, right outside of the Queen Charlotte Sound within the Explorer plate here. Uh, just right smack dab in it, it looks like right about the middle. Of course, the uh, Cascadia subduction zone northern end ends right around this area and of course stretches all the way down into the northern California area uh, where it uh, subducts underneath the North American plate here. Uh, so a little bit of activity kicking up here on the northern end of the Explorer plate. The Explorer plate is a very small little plate here in the pink, at least here on my end it's kind of pink. And that activity occurring directly right in the middle of it. Of course the Explorer plate is a uh, the remnant, at least part of it, of the ancient Farallon plate. Rather large plate uh, that was once was. Not too much anymore, but uh, there's a whole wealth of info on that uh, little plate on the Wikipedia article. So looking at the USGS map here, it shows a 4.4 earthquake within this region. I was checking out the Earthquakes Canada, and they have, uh, they have it set as a little bit larger on the magnitude. Let's see if we can bring that up here. Um, let's see, let's refresh this because it looks like it's a little old. Okay, so that's going to be here in this purple circle, indicating the most recent earthquake, or at least the latest earthquake here on the map at the plate boundaries. You can see the Explorer plate here. They have this listed as a 4.7 earthquake, 10 kilometer depth. It's a little bit larger than what USGS has it, but uh, still some activity kicking up here in this region of the uh, Cascadia, or just, just west of the Cascadia subduction zone. Northern California, the USGS has this pretty quiet, uh, at least here on the map. Uh, not a whole lot of movement, uh, at least here that these guys are showing. Did see some further activity into the Chester Lake Almanor area, 2.2 kicking up here at uh, 9.4 kilometers. I uh, have been watching some of the charts again on the live seismographs, and there's definitely earthquake activity kicking up here. Uh, some microquakes, but uh, none of it being reported at all. Uh, by the USGS in this uh, in this area, I find that uh, ex extremely strange uh, for the lack of reporting in that region. Uh, Southern California, some movement off the coast of San Diego with a 1.2, and that uh, earthquake up here, latest quake I believe was 2.5 near the Sam C. Uh, Simeon Simeon Simeon, right? I believe. I can't seem to get that one uh, properly um, corrected. There was also some activity here on the San Andreas Fault. I believe this here is from yesterday on the uh, creeping section there, just outside of uh, Salinas and Soledad area along the Diablo range. A couple small microquakes kicking up along the San Andreas there. Also uh, to the north, or I should say to the east, over here in Nevada, we had pretty good... Uh, little uptick in the Tonopah, just outside of Tonopah area. 3.0 earthquake occurring earlier this morning. Kind of been watching that uh, region come alive again with uh, aftershock sequences. Uh, and that looks to be at least the largest so far today. Most of the other activity within this range of the uh, Candelaria Hills and uh, this other range here, microquake activity. Uh, working down south here into the Ridgecrest region. Some movement, but not quite as active as we have seen before. Uh, just kind of spotty down within that region. Uh, outside of the Long Valley Supervolcano Mammoth Lakes region, seen some further movement as well. About four or five earthquakes within this region of uh, microquake activity. And down here around the Garlock Fault structure last night, we've seen a 2.0. Uh, near the uh, Johannesburg area, 6.3 kilometers within the, uh, oh, just outside of the Fremont Valley region it looks like, but uh, we don't see too much movement here 
along the shear fault. So, but uh, I think this area has a lot of potential when it comes to creating a, a much larger quake than people believe. Uh, Southern Cal, at least on the Pacific side of the plate boundary, Palomar Observatory did see some further activity uh, overnight. Nothing significant at the moment. Just some microquakes kicking up suspiciously around the Palomar Mountain area and uh, some activity around the San Jacinto Fault Zone as well. South, south of the border, just off the Imperial Fault, some movement, uh, a couple twos kicking up there. Uh, San Andreas Fault South, at least the southern segment, looks pretty quiet for now. Uh, the rest of the country, not a whole lot going on through the Intermountain West or Montana or Idaho for that matter. Uh, in fact, the rest of the country, even uh, earthquake countries such as Oklahoma and Texas, looks pretty quiet. One little quake down here outside of the Pecos, Texas area, a 2.8. Uh, see Puerto Rico region, that... Uh, Earthquake here is from yesterday, not quite off the 24-hour map in the Haiti area, 4.3 striking, and uh, a little bit of spotty activity around the Puerto Rico Trench and the subduction zone to the east, not a, not a whole lot over here in this region. Uh, South America area, looking at some activity uh, in, that, in the uh, Peru-Chile Trench as well, 4.8, 137 kilometers deep. And uh, South Sandwich Island seen a little uptick in movement down here in the s southern end of the trench area. Looks like uh, a couple earthquakes here in the 5 range and the upper 4 at 35 to 36 kilometers. So a little uptick in that region compared to what we have seen uh, in the past couple weeks. And a little renewed movement here in the Tonga area. Although not very deep, a uh, couple of 4 or at least one 4 and a 5 pointer at 43.6 kilometers deep and the Hawaii area out in the Pacific looking kind of kind of quiet at least quieting down a little bit no Alohi Sea Mount activity in the last 24 hours just a little bit of movement around the southeast flank and up around the Mona Loa area uh, northeast rift zone it looks like a couple very shallow earthquakes 2.1 and a 1.8 there on the Big Island the rest of the island chain looks pretty quiet, including out to the western Pacific. Japan, this, I believe this movement here was from uh, way, actually late last night. Seen some activity kicking up here. And this one here, I know for a fact, is a pretty, sh pretty, uh, pretty older earthquake. I should be dropping off here pretty soon. Other than that, I haven't seen any renewed movement here along the northern part of Pacific Ring of Fire or the northwestern part. Things kind of just uh, dying down for the moment. Around the China area, uh, 5.4 out there. A little bit of movement through Afghanistan and the Greece area. This one here is from last night in the Portugal area, 4.3. Seven kilometers for that earthquake. Uh, so yeah, just kind of Kind of an odd shuffle at the moment when it comes to the plates, but uh, I don't think we're uh, done with the movement here along the uh, western uh, North American plate, Pacific plate boundary. Kind of just got to keep an eye on that area. We did see a pretty good swarm of movement north of where this 4.7 struck. Uh, this one struck uh, within the past couple hours there, but we did see some activity in the last week up here to the north on the Pacific and the Explorer plate boundary. Of course, the subduction zone, <clears throat> as I mentioned, runs along here. Uh, Explorer plate ends right about here and then uh, extends north to this region. So a little bit of movement and activity around the Explorer plate in general, uh, especially with that swarm up here to the north. I've seen some uh, threes kick off there, 3.1. I think we even had a little bit uh, an upper three within that region, a couple threes. Uh, other areas down south, as I mentioned, somewhat quiet, even on the Earthquakes Canada page. The rest of Canada, some spotty activity up here to the north. Eastern part, uh, pretty mellow, not a whole lot of movement in the uh, Quebec or Ontario area. All right, guys, uh, let's see Yellowstone. I've got to check that out, right? We were looking at some microquakes yesterday. They have since dropped off the map. We're about ready to. And the rest of the area looks fairly quiet. 
There's some, uh, I believe this is ice quakes, uh, if you will. If you look it up on the Yellowstone uh, webpage, you can see that they kind of point out some seismograph stations there of what earthquakes look like, what distant earthquakes look like, and what ice quakes look like. And these are par probably more than likely ice quakes occurring locally uh, within the vicinity of this seismograph station there in Yellowstone. Uh, as I'm not seeing it show up on any of the other seismographs in the vicinity. So localized quaking, if you will, but not uh, not in the terms of ground cracking, but ice cracking, ice quakes, if you will, uh, around the promontory area. That's what it appears to be, at least according to my observation here, by looking at some of these other uh, seismographs. And of course, trimmer. Last night was uh, around 200 epicenters of tremor, almost uh, covering three quarters of the Cascadia subduction zone. We'll see what that looks like tonight uh, with the further movement off the coast of, uh, of the Queen Charlotte Sound area where we've seen that 4.7 strike earlier this morning. We'll see if we've got any renewed movement up through here in the tremor area. But uh, for now, that was uh, from yesterday. Alright guys, I think that is about it. Just kind of watching the uh, activity today. Not a whole lot really happening on the sun at the moment either. Entering into a little quiet spell of activity, of lack of activity I should say. I see they really dropped down the flare threat. Uh, looks like 50% chance of a sea flare only. And uh, I expect that to uh, continue to dwindle as we're seeing spun, spun sunspot activity die down pretty rapidly with no renewed generation of uh, solar flare threat over here to the west or in this case the east on the if you're on the sun uh, as this comes to the uh, earth facing side not a whole lot so uh, things kind of just mellow at the moment if you will look at that not a whole lot going on at all all right guys have a good Sunday and the rest of your Sunday and uh, stay safe out there we'll see what this new year has to bring us and uh, i'm sure it's going to be full of excitement take care guys we'll chat you guys a little bit later peace out